Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to start with introduction to Google Cloud. So, before starting with a Google Cloud, we'll first see uh, what is a cloud computing. So, this is a simple definition of cloud computing. That cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power without direct active management by the user. Now, we'll try to understand this definition with a very simple example so i'll just open a board here okay and just take an example so you have one laptop okay and now you want to perform some upgrade or you want to format your laptop and before that you want to take a backup of your laptop or you want to just transfer the data from this laptop to another laptop so suppose there is another laptop and you want to just take a backup of your laptop data into the another laptop now you have a traditional approach here so what you can do you will simply so we want to transfer the data so one traditional approach you will use a pen drive to transfer the data now you will take a data backup into this pen drive and then you will connect this pen drive to this laptop and you will copy and paste your data into the this laptop so that is a traditional way now you you can compare this with your on premises so where if you want to set up your own company or your own organization you have to set up your own infrastructure so you have to set up your network cables you have to set up your uh, servers your database servers everything you have to set up by your own but at the end you will own your infrastructure now here you will own this pen drive and it will be with you now take example of a cloud now just take an example we bought a pen drive of a 16 gb because for us the data requirement of 10 gb of data we need to transfer now in future suppose i want to transfer a 20 gb of data now this a pen drive is having only 60 gb of size so now for our next requirement you have to buy one more pen drive for a higher size and suppose that is only one time requirement you have to transfer like 30 GB or 40 GB of data you bought like 64 GB of pen drive and your transfer is done so that's it now for further time your pen drive will be just in idle and not will be in use but you just paid for that pen drive a higher amount so same will happen to your on-prem infrastructure so even your resources are not in use once you provisioned your resources you have to pay for that or you already paid for that now just take example of cloud here instead of using this pen drive so I'll just remove this pen drive instead of pen drive I will use a cloud to store my data so here we'll take very simple example so we'll just take a, a Google Drive so what I will do I'll just upload all my data to this Google Drive or a Dropbox or a cloud storage in example you can text you will just upload from this laptop and you will simply download this from this laptop so it doesn't matter if your data is 10 GB, 2 GB, 1 GB or 100 GB or even a TB. So you can just upload your data and you will just only pay for whatever the data you are uploading. So here, even though you have 2 GB of data, but you paid for suppose 16 GB of pen drive. And if you want more than that, you have to buy a new pen drive. But if you are using Google, Google Cloud or any kind of cloud storage, so if you are uploading a 2 GB of data you have to pay only for the 2 GB or if you are uploading a 1 TB of data you have to pay only for a 1 TB so another advantage is like so you have to carry your pen drive always whenever you want to restore your data but if you are using any of the cloud you can access your data from anywhere you just need a internet connection so now we'll coming back to our uh, definition so here you could see what it was saying uh, on demand availability of computer system resources especially data storage on demand it means whenever we want we can go and upload to google drive and whenever we want we can just download so it just like on our demand we can just provision the size you can extend the size also or there is no limit to upload your objects to the storage and a computing power so computing powers will be like a uh, cloud virtual machines or uh, there are different compute services provided by all the cloud so this is mainly a part of a cloud computing here you could see this cloud can be accessed from notebook mobile pc any other servers database servers and networking so it will be like 
accessed anywhere just you need a internet now there are three major cloud provider in the market google cloud aws and microsoft azure so there are many others cloud also like a digital ocean or alibaba cloud but i will be just focusing on these three are these considered as a ma major available in the market now we'll see our services in google cloud so this is the example we just saw on prem versus uh, cloud computing now you see the google cloud introduction here so google cloud was introduced a first service app engine in 2008 in preview mode and then it started introducing uh, other services in 2008 it just introduced google storage it november 2011 it just introduced a big query so it just keep introducing a new services and these are the major building blocks of the any of the cloud or here we'll take example of a cloud so compute it will have four compute services compute engine kubernetes engine app engine cloud function and again we'll have cloud run as well then a networking in networking we'll have these main services like vpc interconnect firewalls cdn dns and load balancing in storage we'll have different options for object storage for database as well as file storage and then for iam we'll have different services like cloud iam then we'll have kms identity aware proxy dlp api for security and in machine learning also so these are different services provided by the google cloud if you go for aws then there will be also same kind of building blocks like compute networking storage machine learning big data but the services will be different which will be hosted on aws infrastructure similarly for azure so all kinds will have the similar kind of uh, building blocks like a compute networking storage and your uh, database you can say or a security so we'll see on compute in our next video how we can create our first virtual machine so that's it for google cloud introduction and thank you for watching this video